to Local SEO Today. I'm Roger Murphy. And I'm John Paul. Today, we want to welcome you to our podcast. We're talking today in terms of uh, two business owners and entrepreneurs, John, about strategies to grow your business and sales strategies in particular. Yeah, so we're going to talk about three strategies that are typically overlooked mm-hmm. in the overall sales strategy yep. um, because you know, there's so many different ways to get new clients, sure. right? Um, and ideally, every business owner wants to attract new customers, sure. right? But these are typically overlooked. So, if you, and why do you think that is? Do you think people get complacent or something, or the the phone's ringing, so they they just well they let rely go. yeah they rely so heavily on referrals or you know things have gone so well over the years. Yep. You just never know when things are going to go sour, right? Yep. And they're not prepared for it. Maybe they look at their sales sheet and go, well, we had another good month. So just keep doing keep what we're doing. We're doing yeah. yeah. But that leads to uh, really complacency. And that's where real yes. strategies get overlooked. And these are the things that will generate more revenue and get you going again exactly. when revenue goes down. When things are tough, right? Yeah. So the first thing I want to talk about out of the three is really go after your existing relationships. Mm. It could be business relationships, people that you've encountered over the years, sure. family and friends, yep. um, but keep them really close and let them know what's going on, mm-hmm. right? Why you're doing certain things. And you never know when, you know, it could be a quick reminder at a family barbecue exactly. of what exactly you're up to. When you as a business owner and when you started, John, uh, six years ago, when you were first starting, you probably let everyone know, here's what I'm up to, here's what I'm doing, just in your circle of friend, family and friends. The same thing with your business you, or uh, what you have going on watching this podcast today. Same thing, when you first started, this is what it's all about, letting people know what are you doing and, and that gets the buzz going about your, your business. And it's, you know, your friends are your friends. They're gonna always be there. And same with your friend, uh, family, right? But it's very important that you let them know what's going on in your life, right? Mm -hmm. Because everyone's going to be busy. Mm -hmm. Everyone lives their own life and they're busy. So you need to ensure that whenever they're thinking of whatever you're offering, like service or product, they'll remember you. Or they might not need your service right away, but if someone asks, they will refer you. Exactly. Right? So just make sure that you're putting yourself out there. Yeah. Let your family and friends know what you're up to. And even then ask the question, just to, as you say in these social gatherings, who do you know? Do you know anyone that could use my services or my product? That gets them thinking, oh, and then they have a you know a meeting and another friend, everyone's at, you know, some sort of networking event. They go, I do know somebody. My relative, my brother-in-law is really great at what he does and or she does. Yeah. Uh, and they can get that referral system going for Yeah, the referrals are always the best type of leads because it's already a warm, um, you know, sure. trusted, trusted source, right? Um, so that's number one. Mm-hmm. The second thing I want to talk about is really going after your existing customers. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you've been in business for a while, you probably have a lot of existing clients, mm-hmm. right? What are you doing to nurture those clients and go after them with referrals as well. So exactly. who do they know that might need your service? Right, because you're, if they're your client today, it's because you're doing a good job for them, you're making money for them, you're taking things off their plate, making their life easy so they can just run their business. All of a sudden, if you just ask them in passing, hey, uh, Jim, Joe, or Sue, who do you know that could use, that in your circle of business friends, that could maybe use our, or benefit from our services or, or our products? It's a huge, huge way to, to grow your um, referral base too. And maybe offer something up, right? So if you have an existing client base, if they refer their family and friends or someone that they know to your company, mm-hmm. maybe offer something up as a referral uh, sure. fee or something something to compensate them, Mm -hmm. right? Or give them something up, right? Yes. Uh, Because everyone wants something in return, Mm. right? So what what are you able to give them? Mm -hmm. I know the best type of referral are people that actually love your product and service Mm. and they will just do it for you. They're they're your strongest advocates. They're like your fans. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They'll uh, speak highly of you. They will pass your name around. And all you need to do is just remind them that, yes, we are or I am looking for more uh, clients to take care of. So they might they might think 
Oh, they're busy enough. Maybe they don't realize you're actually looking for more, more clients. You're so. accepting new customers, right? Exactly. So let people know that you're always accepting new customers. Mm-hmm. So. so that was the first one, of course, is family and friends. The second one to reach out to is your existing business customers. John, the third one really is, uh, it is referred to as cold calling, and it's really mostly over the phone, uh, but it is reaching out to someone who doesn't know about you right now. People don't like it. It's uh, It feels like uh, there's a lot of negativity because there's a lot of rejection in there, but it's a very powerful way to introduce your business. Exactly. Because it's very difficult to get in the door, mm-hmm. right? And um, it's probably the hardest thing to really effectively learn how to cold call and prospect smart and effectively. Exactly. Um, but if you're willing and you have the desire to really start doing that and spend an hour, a couple hours a day doing that kind of outreach mm-hmm. uh, via code calling, um, that, that typically means over the phone, exactly. right? Um, because email here in Canada is not, um, you know, yeah, to, yeah, it's, it's, it's not legal. Not legal. It, you have to, you have to opt in. You cannot just have email sent to you. That's true. Exactly. So you can code call. Um, the challenge is there's everyone gets bombarded with calls, mm-hmm. right? So you have three or five seconds to build that connection right off the bat, right? Exactly. What can you do to attract someone to really take you on or listen further? So as a business owner, entrepreneur watching this podcast now, I'm gonna ask you, think about it yourself. Not what is your product you're selling, but what is the benefit of the product you're selling? You have three, John, three to five seconds to get that benefit across. So think about that, uh, and then you can tailor that conversation to getting through the, the uh, I guess, the gatekeepers, whether it's a business has reception, has, uh, you know, uh, I guess, inbound, uh, you know, call center, how to get through. You've got to have a, a powerful benefit statement that makes it worth their while for them to come on the line and talk to you. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, practice your elevator pitch. Mm-hmm. Practice, because what, what is the real outcome that you want in this telemarketing call, right? Mm-hmm. Cold calling. Is it to spend more time on the phone with the person in charge, decision maker, mm-hmm. and then in hopes that you send an email out or meet them in person, mm-hmm. or what's the whole objective, right? right? So figure that out, learn from your mistakes, and it's all trial and error, yeah. ultimately. And depending on what your product is or service, it's about saving money, be more productive for the, your your potential client, uh, convenience, uh, pleasure, and maybe it's a travel type of business you've got, but it's those, uh, you've got to you've got to get that message across in the few seconds of the benefit of what you have, not just the product. And if you have some time before you make that call, do some due diligence and research so you can personalize it as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Know a little bit about the company and who you're talking to, and they will, everyone's flattered when they know that you've done your research, mm-hmm. right? So spend that extra couple seconds or minutes to do that in preparation. Of exactly. making that cold call. There's a thing called Google. <laughs> you can go into Google and you can research anything and, and become an expert very quickly on it. Yeah. So, but John, this has been a great topic today. Thank you. Um, sales or lead generation is the lifeblood of every business. So thank you for watching today. I hope you got a couple tips or tricks from us and we'll see you again. John, thank you for your time. Thank you, Roger. See you again at Local SEO today.